October 12th, and we are on our way to Toronto for one night because we're balling like that apparently. We just, we're, we're so good at partying, we can only, can only stay for one night. Um, actually no, Gymshark is having an event in Toronto. It is the closest that uh, Gymshark and its athletes has, have ever been to Ottawa, and so I said, fuck it, we're driving the five hours, and we're gonna go because Nikki Blackadder is coming, and I've been watching her since, like, the dawn of her internet channel, and I couldn't not go to meet her because she is everything that is good with this world. We need more Nikki Blackadder, so that's for goddamn sure. So, it is 11.11 11 as I look at the clock. Really? Of course. And we are just on our way. I have a couple more things to pick up on the way there. Excuse the lighting, I really can't. I can't do anything about it. We're in the car. Um, and then we will be on our way to Toronto. Yeah! So, that is the plan. I'm obviously taking you guys along with me because why the fuck wouldn't I? And you will be seeing a more tales from the Crep Keeper along the way. Talk to you guys when something exciting finally happens, because who knows when that's going to be. I just crapped my pants. Oh, good thing I didn't stop filming right before that. What? Nothing. Don't be too. Don't worry about it. I'll edit it out, I swear. It is a 4.35. We have made a few stops along the way there. We are officially in Toronto. However, we are... On the Don Valley parking lot. Yeah, parked because, well, y'all know the drill. That's how it works here. Well, those of you who know Toronto, anyway. Y'all understand. Um, so we're just kind of slowly winding our way through here and we're gonna check in and hopefully fingers crossed find somewhere to eat because this witch is fucking starving absolutely starving I don't like traffic <laughs> but I'm here and uh, the drive wasn't too bad. It isn't usually, to be honest, if you do during the Did day. Did I mention I don't like traffic? Yeah, we've, we've mentioned that. We know you don't like traffic. It is just the way you are. I got it. Um, but yeah, I'm here. I am in pain. This is, the, this is about the max I can sit upright without some form of heat and or comfort of some kind is about, well, when did we actually leave from Canada? Uh, it's probably been about four hours, I'm guessing, roughly. I didn't actually really time it. No, it's pretty close. But I'd say probably about pretty close to four hours. That's my maximum capacity before I cut off. I am getting to the point now where I am at my cutoff. Oh, I was going to do that, but it all of a sudden got really sunny. Sorry, guys. Um, yeah, my hips are hurting a lot right now. They are screaming at me. And so I cannot wait to get to the hotel to stretch out and get ready for dinner. No idea where we're going for dinner. Yeah, dinner! Food. Dinner, dinner, dinner. Yeah. And then tomorrow I get to wake up nice and fucking early to stand in line. Nikki. I am coming to see you. I better get to meet you because I will be devastated if I don't. <laughs> Absolutely devastated. So fingers crossed, everything works out and I'm not in too much pain to be able to stand in line. But the Gymshark team seems to be pretty on top of everything and pretty cool. They've been keeping everybody up to date and they have told me that if I do need accommodations because I am in too much pain to continue standing in line that they will. You are in a seven minute slowdown caused by a crash. You are still on the fastest route. 
figure something out for me. Thank you for interrupting. That's lovely of you. You rude bastard. Fuck bitch. What? Who said that? Um, so that's the plan. I will probably take you guys kind of to dinner, not actually to dinner, because I'm just, I'm not, I don't, I, I'm not okay actually sitting in a restaurant filming meals. I still feel weird doing that. Maybe you gotta get to like a certain stage of vlogging where like you just really you don't feel weird doing that anymore, but I'm not there yet. But I will tell you where I'm going and I will, oh God, show you what I'm wearing and uh, and then it'll be time to rest to get ready for the lineup tomorrow. We have not decided whether or not we're gonna stay in town for an extra night. However, I have a feeling we probably will just because by the time everything is all said and done and the adrenaline has worn off, I am going to be sick as shit and tired as hell and I'm just going to need to crash and I have a hard time sleeping in cars because, uh, well, I get car sick really easy. Oh, it's not my driving? <laughs> no, I just oh. get car sick really I just easy. To check. <laughs> so that's the plan. We'll see what happens, I'll let you all know, and I will definitely be bringing you guys with me while I wait in line for Lord knows how many hours tomorrow morning before I get to meet Nikki. I don't know if they're gonna let me film in there. I have a feeling they probably won't because they're gonna be filming all their own stuff and Nikki's gonna be filming and you know everybody vlogs everything. So I have a feeling I won't be able to do that, but we shall see. Either way, this witch is tired and I'm ready to get out of this fucking car, so. Later. So we are home from dinner. I didn't even bother to vlog before. I did have makeup on, but fuck it. Um, it was driving me nuts. Completely driving me insane. I am literally just going to take my meds now. It's like 9.15. I'm going to take my meds and I'm going to go to bed because I need to be up early so I can be down there and in line for like 8, 8.30. So that there's no reason why I can't get my spot. Uh, good times. Anyway, it's definitely bedtime. I am exhausted. I'm thirsty. <coughs> in case any of you were wondering why he's generally not in my vlogs, point in case. There you go. Anyway, good night. I will show you my look tomorrow and what I'm wearing. And then the rest of it's going to be Nikki, pretty much. Or waiting for Nikki and then probably Nikki. So I will see you guys tomorrow. Night. Good morning, boils and ghouls. It is 8-ish. Literally, it's like 8 o'clock. Um, and my makeup is already done. And I will turn this around in a minute so you can see my outfit, but we are just about to pack up the car, head the 10 minute drive down the street so that I can stand in line with the 200 other people who are just as freaking insane as I am, trying to catch a few minutes time with a girl that I've been following for very many years. Um, but yeah, I'm exhausted and I probably look it, but it's all worth it, right? Right? Yeah, it is. So that's what's going on. All right, guys, here is the outfit. Got my black Nikes, my Nike black at her crop and her limited edition pineapple print pants. And I'm gonna be bundling myself the fuck up because it's like four degrees out and it's freezing. I also have my, uh, if you can see it, let's see. I also have my fleecy blanket down here. That is coming with me in the lineup. I'm wrapping that around my jacket, I swear. But that's, uh, that's it. Yeah, that's what's going down. Let's, let's do this. Oh, I'm gonna put black lipstick on too because I know I'm gonna be the only one in the crowd, I'm sure, wearing black lipstick because 
probably be the only goth there, but I don't care. Well, let's get going. It's in, but now I still have to wait in another lineup to see Nikki. I nearly collapsed on the sidewalk, so that's good shit. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. Super fun. It'll be worth it in the end, I hope. Fingers crossed. Once I meet her, it'll be worth it. I got to meet Nikki, and she actually recognized me. And I tried really, really hard not to cry. And I actually didn't, but I got some really good pictures, and she loved my gift, and I'm just so fucking stoked to be able to be here. But the pain is now becoming overwhelming, and it's time for me to call it quits and go home. Half of this is excitement and half of this is pain. I still have a four hour drive home, so this is going to be fun. Not really. I don't, uh, don't really know what to do with that right now, but I'll do my best to get through it because it is my baby sister's birthday tomorrow, so I have to fucking be home. Regardless, I will check in with you guys when I can actually like think and shit because I'm just so overwhelmed with a lot of things right now. Uh, well, Toronto, it has been a slice, but I need to go home because I need to fucking go home. Clearly, I did my makeup early, it's all wearing off. I've eaten. I've stood in hour-long lineups. Yeah, three and a half hours. I feel bad for the people who aren't getting in or who didn't get in to see their athletes, but like you can't expect to show up to an event like that when the doors are supposed to open and get in on time. It just it doesn't it doesn't work like that. So I, I don't know. Why. I don't know why people are like that, but that's the way people are huge shout out who I'm sure is never even going to watch this but huge shout out to the bodyguard slash security guard that helped get me into the building because of the pain that I was in because uh, if it had not been for him then I probably would have collapsed on the sidewalk and or just given up so huge shout out to Big because he was awesome. All of the staff at the Gymshark event were absolutely fabulous. Regardless of what people like to complain about online due to the fact that apparently it's really easy to complain online because it is a faceless complaint, uh, I have no complaints about the way that they've conducted anything whatsoever. They definitely pulled out all the stops and did the best they could with what they had, especially not expecting the turnout that they got. There was clearly well over 5,000 people there by the time that we had come and gone. And I do not think that that was an expectation that they had of Toronto. So, good for you guys for keeping your heads on and for keeping things stocked as best you could. It's literally virtually impossible to keep up with crowds like that. I would know. I've worked retail for a long time. Christmas season is a nightmare. And that's pretty much what today was for you guys. was like condensed Christmas season in a nine hour period. And y'all did a really good job. So you should be proud of the team that you brought forward. Because no complaints from this witch here that's for goddamn sure. Other than the amount of pain that I'm in right now, but that's not your fault. That is my body's fault. It is time to stop for Starbucks. And then I'm probably going to pass out for the rest of my drive home. Yeah, we were in the six for less than a full 24 hours, but uh, I don't care. It's time for me to go home and rest in try and get this pain under control now that the excitement and the event for me anyway is over i can do that yeah
Gabby time. And by that I mean tea time because I, I don't drink coffee. No. He does though. Coffee for him. Not for Starbucks me. coffee. Yeah, he'll get him more. Only car car fucks. Car fucks. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> well, that's not getting I shouldn't be driving. <laughs> that's not getting edited out. It's not at all. <laughs> time for coffee. Please, so I can close this out, which means I'm home now. I am tired. I'm in pain. Like, look at this. This is a disaster. I'm in pain, but it was so worth every minute of it. Every minute. I have been watching Nikki for like six years now. And her videos have definitely gotten me through some tough times. So it was well, well worth the time spent well worth the pain, well worth every second of the day today. I met a few of the other guys as well. They were really cool. I'm definitely going to be posting pictures of them because I look literally like half a person next to these guys. They're huge. Um, but yeah, the drive home was not super fun, but it was also uneventful. So that's exactly what you're looking for. And I am about to take my meds and go to bed. And then I will start fresh tomorrow morning and celebrate my sister's birthday. And uh, hopefully I will get some decent sleep tonight. That's pretty much it. So I'm going to end it out here. Nikki, even though you're probably not watching and you probably never will, but that's okay. In case you are for some reason. You, you have no idea how happy that like five to ten minutes that I got to spend with you made me after the line and the cold and the pain and the everything else and the year that I have had. So thank you for just being you for taking that time and for being as sweet as you were and you know all of all of the love that you showered on us today thank you um there's not much else that I can really be said so I'm not going to keep you guys any longer I'm taking my makeup off and I'm going to bed I'm exhausted I will see you guys in the next video and as per usual do not forget to like share and subscribe hit the notification bell and i'll see you guys in my next video bye